W.E.B. Du Bois said, the function of the university is not simply to teach breadwinning or to furnish teachers for the public schools or to be a center of polite society. It is above all to be the organ of that fine adjustment between real life and the growing knowledge of life, an adjustment which forms the secret of civilization. To visit the Somali Hope Academy Foundation, or Rajo as we know in Somali, was an experience one could only feel in the heart. Witnessing the excellence of aspirational children in rural Somalia and how defined they were by purpose reassured me of what Somali excellence not only looks, but feels like. Stepping onto the academic grounds delved me into my mother's memories and how she'd always talk about her experience as a Somali student in Somalia and what it means to learn from people who look like you, speak like you, and understand you in a way that only a merciful person could. When I sat in the meeting hall with the instructors, I felt the warmth of desire overcome me. How this experience meant more than just teaching. They spoke with a passion I had only ever witnessed once in my life. When I was in grade seven, I had a teacher who not only based his principles on the ideas of teaching, but on allowing the student to understand what it means to learn. Anyone can be a teacher, but not everyone knows how to teach. The city of Bursalah is a tawny hue with just enough magnetism and love coddled between its lips, such magnanimity held in its hearts. The family of Bursalah, and I say family because the engine of this city is fueled by intimacy and belonging and love is one that puts weight into closeness. A city that is solely elemental, where one suffices with God and family and discards the rest of what this material world leaves us with. Many children of Bur Salah attend Rajo and meeting with the parents of these children was entirely fulfilling. One of the parents mentioned how delighted he was to have his children attending the school and advised that he hopes for the same students of today to return tomorrow and be the voice for which future students can learn from. It's not often you find the teachers, students, and parents aligned in their spirits of joy, togetherness, and longing for what comes next. To find comfort in today's exertion and patiently wait for the fruits from yesterday's plant. This here is where success begins to flourish. Thank you.